I haven't slept because I've been dreaming of my one true love pulse grenade. That's a very weird intro. You see, with Arc 3.0, Titan's got a new aspect called Touch of Thunder. This aspect upgrades some of the grenades pulse grenade included, letting it generate ionic traces periodically as it damages targets and increase damage over time. Totally safe that. If you pair this with Spark of Magnitudes, which literally just increases the duration of pulse grenade, you can generate four ionic traces with a single pulse grenade. And may I remind you that an ionic trace gives you back 12.5% of your grenade, meaning with literally the grenade on its own, you can get yourself 50% of your grenade back. If this doesn't call for a grenade build, I don't know what does. And speaking of grenade build, this is nowhere even close to how much grenade energy we can get back using this thing alone. Because, well, firstly, starting off, we compare this with Spark of Shock, which allows our grenades to jolt targets, increasing its single damage, and also increasing its AoE, but more importantly, allowing it to work with Spark of Ions, which means when you kill a jolted target, you create an ionic trace. So now, with your pulse grenade, you can generate five ionic traces, which gives you back 62 2.5% of your grenade instead of 50. But wait, there's more. Because you can also pair this with a little a seasonal mod called Trace Evidence. This mod allows you to create an ionic trace when you defeat an arc debuff target. Now, unfortunately, this is currently bugged right now and just doesn't work at all, but assuming it does, this means that with a single pulse grenade granted on the perfect target, you can generate six ionic traces, giving you back 75% of your grenade. And the only thing you've goddamn done so far is through your grenade. But wait, there's more. Because you can also pair this with three elemental ordinances and a bountiful wells. These four mod means when you kill a target using your pulse grenade, you're going to generate four arc elemental wells. And upon pick up, each of these elemental wells are going to give you probably like 10% of your grenade energy, equaling to 40% of your grenade. Pair that with these six ionic traces you're already generating, and you're not just getting back your full grenade, you're getting 115% of it. But wait, there's more. Because, well, Ionic Traces and Elemental Wells don't just give you grenade energy, they give you all energy. Meaning you can abuse your other abilities as well to get your grenade back even faster. And one of the ways you can do that is by using Heart of Inmost Light. This chest piece means when you use an ability, it will empower the other two abilities, making them recharge faster and also quote unquote strengthen them. What this means for our build though is if you use your class and melee, which you'll get back a lot, you will make your grenade recharge faster and also do more damage. So now, not only do you have 115% of your grenade energy for basically free, but also you have Heart of Inmost Light on top of that. But wait, there's more. Because you can abuse your other abilities even more than just Heart of Inmost Light. And to do that, we're going to be using Impact Induction and Bomber. Bomber means when we use our class ability, we're going to get some grenade energy. And Impact Induction means when we deal melee damage, we're also going to get some grenade energy. So now we're not just getting back 75% of all of our abilities, basically, from Ionic Tracers. We're not just getting back 40% of all of our abilities from Elemental Wells. And we're not just getting back increased ability regenerate from Heart of Inmost Light, but we're also getting back grenade energy from both our class ability and melee. All of this combos together to not just be a great ability spam build, as always, but also a great grenade build, which may I add has a very strong grenade in the center of it. This build is very, very strong, and I would genuinely recommend it. Other than that, that is about it. Enjoy the gameplay, and see ya.